Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to deactivate Microsoft Outlook. Now, Microsoft Outlook is a, one of the programs that comes with the Microsoft Office suite. Um, what you can do is deactivate just Microsoft Outlook and leave everything else there installed. To do that, go to your um, Start menu, go to the Control Panel, then find the Add, Remove, uh, or actually in, in, this, in my configuration is Programs and Features. Click on that, and then what you want to do is wait for the list to be populated, and then scroll down the list of everything that's installed. I have quite a bit installed on my PC. Find Microsoft Office. I've got Microsoft Office Professional right there. You click on that, then you click Change. And what that will do is bring up an interface. Eventually, it's got to populate it with all the programs that you have installed. It'll bring up an interface that uh, will list uh, the configuration that you have for Microsoft Office. Um, right here first, it'll ask you if you want to add or remove features or repair. We're going to do add and remove. So you do continue. Then you go over here, and you see where it, has, where it says Microsoft uh, Office Outlook. Select that. And from the drop-down menu, click on Not Available. And that will make it not available when you hit Continue. What it will do is it will deinstall it, uh, free up some space in your hard drive. And if you have a, the Install Depot is local on your PC, then later on you can go back in and, and reinstall it. Or if you have your CD, um, you can go back in and reinstall it from the CD. Um, I'm not going to deinstall it because I use it regularly and I want to keep it on my system, but that's how you deinstall or deactivate Microsoft Outlook. My name is Matthew Pierce. Thanks for watching.